Hi guys, Dr. Charles Chabert here, urologist and director of the Prostate Clinic. Uh, today's video is going to concentrate more on the minimally invasive treatment choices for BPH. If you haven't already, we have some videos that detail the pathophysiology or really the development of BPH, which is the benign prostatic enlargement that happens to most men as they progress through life. There are a variety of different treatment choices, including medical therapy for BPH, and we also have a video that details the various drugs that can be used to try and improve urinary symptoms. Today's video, however, will concentrate on Urolift. Urolift is a minimally invasive treatment choice for the management of men who've got bothersome symptoms related to an enlarged prostate. The following animation highlights the passage of a cystoscope through the prostate and into the bladder. The Urolift deploying device is then withdrawn, allowing exposure of a needle which is then placed through the prostate, deploying a capsular anchor at the external part of the prostate. This is then tensioned and a urethral anchor is deployed. This allows retraction of the lateral obstructing prostate tissue. The same process is repeated on the contralateral side. A needle is deployed, a capsular anchor is then secured and the lateral tissue is retracted. In my practice, on average, four to six clips are deployed to allow satisfactory retraction of the obstructing lateral lobes of the prostate. The majority of men are managed as day cases and no indwelling catheter is required at the termination of the procedure. Almost immediate improvement in obstructive symptoms can expect to be achieved with the deployment of a Urolift device. The following animation here highlights pre and post op and how the lateral lobes of the prostate are successfully retracted with the application of four clips. So what are the advantages to this procedure? Well, in essence, because no tissue is physically removed, the recovery from this procedure is pretty quick. For the majority of people, they can be treated as day only or day case patients. The expectation after surgery is that there is an improvement in the way that people pee. Bladder related symptoms slowly settle down over the course of around uh, four to six weeks. There is a low likelihood of causing any sexual dysfunction. Not everyone is suitable for a Urolift procedure. And there are some criteria with regards to the size of the prostate, the shape of the prostate, and really how much obstruction is present that guides me as to whether or not someone is suitable for having a Urolift procedure. The more complex the shape of the prostate, the harder it is to physically retract that tissue, hold it away from the urethra, and to maintain an unobstructed situation. My data has been published in a real world study which highlights that there can be durable improvements in the, with Urolift assuming certain criteria are met. I do not offer this procedure for people who are in urinary retention. I don't offer it for people who have a really big prostate and I don't offer it to people who have a significant median lobe. Experience tells me that these people, whilst they may have an improvement, the durability of this improvement is short-lived. If you have any questions about Urolift or other treatment choices related to BPH, or if you have any comments, please leave them in the dialog box down below. If you haven't already and you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications so you stay up to date with our contemporary videos regarding all things men's health. Thanks again.